Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daituka. In this video, we're going to talk about Josie Rizal's Switch Dance. I think everyone knows that Josie's Switch Dance can be very annoying to deal with. On paper, this dance covers pretty much any defensive option, and it's mainly used to control the pace of the match, as well as apply mind games. But with the right approach, you can minimize risk and damage with the strategies that I'll go through in this video. For some background information, Switch Dance is a totally unique stance to Josie. She can transition into this stance via four different moves and strings. These moves are down forward four, one, two, four, two, four, and down three, four. Down forward four is the only safe way for Josie to access Switch Dance, as the other three options can be ducked. For each of these transitions, they are all plus 11 on block, allowing Josie a lot of room to use her Switch Dance arsenal. For the sake of this video, I'll only be discussing the situation where the Switch Dance transition move is blocked. You should only proceed to block if you are actually hit by the transition move, as trying to interrupt or even punish incorrectly at this point will more than likely result in a counter hit launch due to the increased frame advantage on hit. Within the stance, Josie has access to five different viable options. Switch Stance 1. A high elbow that is minus 7 on block, plus 5 on hit, and launches on counter hit. This move also forces crouch on both block and hit. Switch Dance 2, a mid gut punch that is minus 6 on block, plus 5 on hit, and launches on counter hit. Switch Dance 3, a low tracking kick that is minus 12 on block, minus 1 on hit, and launches on counter hit. Switch Dance 4, a mid wall bounce move that evades lows and is minus 9 on block. And lastly, Switch Dance Forward. Josie can perform a Crouch Dash while in Switch Dance by holding forward, allowing it to use any of her Crouch Dash moves. Different characters in this matchup have specific tools or properties to their movement that allow for unique defensive options. However, the aim for this segment is to demonstrate a simplified approach that can be utilized by all characters. The defensive approach comes down to jabbing or not jabbing. This is because a one jab will interrupt Switch Dance 2, Switch Dance 3, Switch Dance 4, and it will trade with Josie's quickest option out of Crouch Dash. However, if you try and jab interrupt Switch Dance 1, you will get counter hit launched. In which case, the best way to beat this option is to duck and launch punish with a while standing move. Simplifying the defensive strategy by only jabbing or not makes dealing with Josie's switch stance a lot safer and efficient. Sure, there are optimal punishment options. For example, you can actually sidestep left Josie's switch stance 4, which is commonly used in my experience when your back is actually against the wall. But by jabbing here, not only will you float her for a mini combo, you also stop Josie from potentially using three other options in her switch stance arsenal. On top of that, you also minimize the risk of getting hit, since if you actually mess up your sidestep and punish, you will eat a wall bounce combo. In a real match, the best strategy is just to be patient at first. Try observing what options your opponent likes to use most out of this stance. If you notice that they tend to use the slower options, aka anything other than Switch Dance 1, you can capitalize on this and try interrupting with a one jab. Bear in mind, interrupting your opponent with a one jab may motivate them to start trying to use Switch Dance 1 to catch you. But on the flip side, if you notice that they tend to use Switch Dance 1 more often than not, you can capitalize on this and either block to take frame advantage or duck and punish. The key here is to make the Josie player feel like they're not getting any reward by forcing the Switch Dance mix up on you. It takes time to build experience and the so-called feeling of what your opponent might use, however, 
A few successful interruptions or punishments will make the jersey you're facing a lot less eager to force these mix-ups. If you want to take a more conservative or safer approach, just holding back and blocking any switch dance option actually leaves you in favour of frames, making it your turn. On block, no option in Switch Dance actually leaves Jersey at plus frames. Even Switch Dance 3, being the only unique low out of this dance, is actually minus 1 even on hit. Personally, I think the main deciding factor to either approach comes down to how much health you have, as well as how much your opponent has left. Based on this, it's up to you to consider whether it's worth challenging by jab interrupting or ducking and punishing, or by playing it safe and just holding back and taking frame advantage. Overall, the more time you have to practice the Josie matchup, the more akin you'll be to dealing with her switch dance. Hopefully with what I outline in this video, it'll help you to deal with the sometimes tricky and oppressive stance in your future matches. Have any other questions? Feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.